Sunday morning. We're just now getting here. It's about 11 o'clock. So we got a late start today. And we brought a trailer load with our car and my car is acting like it's on his last leg. So we'll see if it makes it up the little hill with the trailer full of, oh, we got the riding mower on there. We've got the other little wagon. I guess Sean told the girls to get out of the car just so that it wouldn't be so heavy. So we'll see, it's not moving at all. What's that? Because we're contributing so much to that. A couple hundred pounds, yeah. Okay, so he may have turned off the car and we may need to go unload down there. So let's go do that. Good morning and welcome back. We are here on Sunday. It's uh, probably about 11.30. We got here about 11. So we got a little bit later start this morning. It's sunny and the rain is gone, so we've got a lot of stuff that we can get doing today. Um, we had an interesting start to the morning because our driveway is up a hill and at the top of the hill is a, is a gate. And we closed the gate last night when we left, so we had to stop close to the top of the hill to open the gate. And I went ahead and opened the gate and my car, which is having transmission issues these days, um, did not want to come up the hill. So once we got the gate open and we were ready to drive up, it wouldn't move. So we had to unload everything from kind of halfway down the hill. So everybody's tired and exhausted already and we just getting started. But we brought the riding mower and a wagon and just a bunch of random supplies that we had in our garage at the apartment. So let me show you what we got going. All right, so this is, we brought the riding mower so we could hook up the wagon to it. We also brought this little wagon. It kind of came with the riding mower, the guy that we bought it from, threw that in. So brought a bunch of just random things. And I think the plan for at least right now, I'm gonna show you around the back. The girls, well, Natalie's gonna work on taking nails and staples and stuff out of the walls. And I think Sean and Bailey are gonna be back here. So you can kind of see that goes under the house there into the basement. And we need to come up with a door to close that off. So we don't have just random animals and whatnot going in there. So I think what the plan is for right now, ooh, sorry about that. What the plan is for right now, is to take off one of these doors for these sheds because we're not sure which sheds, if any of them will be able to stay because they're in such bad condition. But this one has a door right here that may fit perfectly. So I think that's what he's gonna work on this morning. But we're just glad that the, and we need to take trash out too. But we're just glad that it's sunny day, rainy, the rain is gone and we can get working. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hey y'all. Okay, so we actually just got, hold on. Just got the first firing house. Pretty nice. And I'll take you and show you out. What is that called up there? That it's really good? The draw. The draw, yeah. Okay, so apparently the draw is really good, y'all. If y'all can see up there, all the smoke coming out. So he says the builder did a really good job and he knew what he was doing. So, yeah, and as you saw, we're kind of starting to take up the ceiling up here and we're gonna go ahead and do that and then after, we'll do this one. So, yeah, and Nellie's taking some little scraps and nails and stuff off the wall. That's what we're doing for now. All right, it's one o'clock. I've been here for two hours. And I'm going to take you down into the dungeon. Sean and Bailey are down here 
don't know what they're doing, but I put my brave face on and I'm walking down here to see how it's going and what exactly they're doing. So let's go down under the house. Hello. And then anything else that you can get to or see up there. Okay? And then make yourself a pile and I'll come back with uh, I'll come back with the tractor. And we'll um, looks like we got we'll fill it up. some old furniture down here. There's a lot of room down here, and there's a water heater. I'm gonna get out because Bailey's making dust. This is all the stuff that Sean pulled out from underneath the basement. Hmm. Some good looking stuff here I'm gonna have to pick through. Jars, looks like photographs, looks like there's some dishes under there, some pictures, and some books. Hey there, so I thought I'd come down and show this barn a little bit better, or this stable, I don't know what to call this thing. I guess it would be stables. There's three horse stables in here. Obviously, we haven't done anything here, and it's gonna be low on the priority list, but this is where I hope to have my chickens someday. So, when you come in, there are two stables. One right here and one over here and then back here is a bunch of feed bags that have been left so that's a lot of cleanup and that would be another state another stall that could be used and then that would be the feed room right there and there is an old freezer that is really disgusting looking, but Sean opened it up the other day and he said that it is about half full of feed. So there's nothing really gross in there. They just use it to keep rodents out. Um, and so we may or may not keep it because, I mean, it looks disgusting, but it's good for keeping animal feed and keeping other critters out of it. So that is this stable and then when you come out here here's <coughs> excuse me here's the big barn i think it's just pretty it's um it needs a lot of repair there is an area on both sides that have collapsed a little bit whether a tree fell down on it you can kind of see on this side right here that's it that it's in need of repair there. Right there. But, and then on this side, this side has collapsed down a little bit. So I'll take you around the other side um, and show you inside of the barn. All right, so coming around the other side, as you can see, 
there's a lot of repair that needs to be made. And I think we are gonna try to repair this. I mean, it'll be a project for sure, and it's gonna take some time, but it's such a pretty barn that I think we wanna try to save it. So this is, again, this is all of our property here. There's a little gate right back there. I think you can see it. That is still part of our property and there's like a metal shed on that piece there that um, we'll just end up getting rid of someday. But all of this can be cleared and it will be cleared over time because we saw a picture of this area cleared before. I don't know how many years ago it was taken, but it was beautiful. So, so here's the back of the big barn and once you get in it, it's kind of interesting because it, it really is in good condition. It just it doesn't look like it from the outside. But there's Sean's tractor that he's able to park in here and keep it out of the weather. And then here would be one stall that could be used. And look, there's like all these horseshoes all over the place. Um, there would be another stall that could be used there. So there's three on this side, but that last one obviously has, is in need of a lot of repair. And then over there is another one. So there's five stalls in here. That is just kind of like the tack room with all kinds of trash. And there is another freezer there that has feed in it as well. And there's a ladder kind of ladder slash stairs that goes up to the loft area. The loft area, you can kind of see, you know, it's, the flooring has got holes in it, but it's huge up there. It was a hay loft. Um, and there's actually a, like a, I guess it's like a hay baler. I don't know, a crane crank thing that's hanging up in there. And it's just beautiful. So that's the big barn. I need to get back and get to work before the girls start complaining that I'm not there working. So I'll check in with y'all later. Hey y'all, I'm back. I don't know if I've been on today's vlog or said anything. Actually I have, I showed y'all the fire. Sorry, the music's really loud. Um, I think the fire's pretty much out. Yeah, the fire's out, we ran out of wood so it's not really no flames but still heated um we turned on one of the heaters and it's getting a lot warmer in there they're in the kitchen going through um old like glasses and stuff and he's doing the weather thing so yeah let's update It's definitely metal, metal like uh, this brass or copper or brass. I don't think those are supposed to bend that way. Huh? I don't think those are supposed to bend that way. Okay. No, it's just, it's, it's, it sits on that uh, swivel. Yo! Very cool. Well, you might have just recorded over it. Yeah, it's not working. I just need to this is at the, kind of the top of the hill of our property. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's off. The front three acres. So that's the view we should have on. once we once we get it okay, don't. cleared. Hey guys, me and my dad are going down to get the tractor. Or are we getting the tractor and bringing it up here? Yeah, we're getting the wagon. Okay, yeah, we're getting the wagon with the tractor. Something like that. And... Right now they're going up there. They're going through the antiques that we had found um, underneath the house in the basement. The basement. Um, so they're going through those like little, like old antique stuff or what could be classified as antiques. Um, and they, I don't know if I told it all, they ripped up the ceiling tile thingies it's being slow um and those two like front rooms with the front the 
first door you get to when you walk into the porch. Um, but yeah, other than that, we kind of cleaned out the stuff in the kitchen and we just looking through his old like letters and stuff. And a letter is from like 2020, so I'm not exactly sure when he died yet. I'm trying to figure that out still, so, or when he left or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know when we're at the tractor. So if you can see, the creek is actually running from all the water we've had lately. It's very pretty. So when the water flows here, it's like there's a little bridge. So walk over. So we got the tractor up and they are just going through that. We rode up on the tractor. I don't know if my mom put that clip in. It was kind of long and a little bit boring, but um, so they're just going through all of these antiques. So yeah, okay, well, bye. Hey y'all, so we're going back down. Um, we, we just had to hook the tractor up with the trailer and mama's getting the the Husqvarnia or whatever it's called. Um, the little, little lawnmower um, that we had at all the other houses. So it's kind of funny, like the difference and they're both the same color. So I'll show you guys. Um, they'll be cool coming down next to each other. So give me just a second, just gotta catch up. realized I recorded at the wrong angle but um, you can see a bunch of cows grazing and there's some right through those bushes and then the one over there they're pretty close if I went there's one right there it's so close to us if we just went over our fence line but um, yeah it's pretty cool I haven't seen them there yet so it's nice to see so I kind of got bef behind they're way up there but I think after this, we're gonna pretty much almost call it a day. Um, not really sure what else we're planning to do today. Um, here wise, um, it is only 3.20 right now. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys when we get up or I think my mom might video nice. You've seen a lot of me lately, so I'll probably just disappear for a little bit. But anyways, and then barn okay you've already seen most of that so i will see you guys later or not later all right it is 3 30 and we are getting ready to wrap up today we didn't do quite as much today as we did yesterday at least it doesn't look like it but i took the ceiling tiles down out of this room and this other room here natalie took some nails out of the walls and the windows and we found some more books um, downstairs in the basement and so those are the ones that we kind of put aside we have filled up the dumpster and we are just ready to call it quits for this weekend we did get let's see let me go around this way um, we did get a fire built in this room, in this fireplace. I think, I kind of feel like Bailey showed it to you earlier, but um, it worked and we did not get any smoke in the house, which is nice. So we know that that fireplace works. We have our little pile here of the antiques. That right there is the weather vane that Sean took down today. We also, Natalie cleaned out a lot of the cabinets to get ready to demo. And so this back here is where we've got all of our supplies. And I told her to go ahead and just bring all the dishes that we found in the cabinets back here. 
So this is the stuff that I wanted her to keep and we will figure out what we're gonna do with it. Um, I don't know when. I mean, I don't wanna get rid of this stuff because a lot of it is, is really cool and it's antiques, but I don't know that I necessarily wanna keep it. I don't know, we'll see. So I think that was it um, for the day and we will be back here on Saturday to do some more work. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, I just recorded this, but all I did was ramble. So just kind of get straight to the point. Um, right now it is 3.45. Um, we're getting ready to shut off all the lights and like lock the doors and everything. But I feel like today was pretty good. No, oh, I need a new hat. I can't wear the same stuff every day. Anyways, um, we did good. I feel like we did good. We did a lot of stuff that was like kind of unnoticeable, but it was stuff that needed to be done. So I feel like you're going to have those days. We don't feel like you did as much, but you kind of really did. So those were just kind of one of those days. Um, but we were able to bring a lot of stuff that we needed with the trailer and everything. We brought the the mower and the tractor the tractor mower thing the little small one you guys saw um we brought that one and a bunch of different things hopefully this car can bring us back because i was having trouble even just coming up here um so yeah but i feel like we did pretty good so i don't know if i rated it yet but i give it a 7.5 because i feel like it was a lot less tiring so a lot less of those points deducted for being tiring but it, it was still like tiring like my shins hurt and everything like that but um and I still feel like feel like we did stuff we didn't really work on that we didn't actually we didn't even go up in the upstairs at all we worked a little bit on the outside in the basement a lot more um so yeah and we built our first fire so yeah that's exciting um but yeah we'll be back here in a week not a week a week from yesterday so yeah at least we get a little bit of a break but after that we're gonna be working on it for a straight like two weeks so that's gonna be really tiring but i'll see you guys in a week bye oh yeah thanks for watching everyone i hope you guys enjoyed me and my mom talk about the house 25 times and and repeat 20 different things but yeah thanks for watching um bye guys